welcome to another video of system programming uh, lecture series and in this video we are going to discuss about the benefits of CLI based operating system over the GUI based operating system so the first benefit is composability as we already discussed that Linux based or uh, Unix based operating system are CLI based and in order to interact with these operating systems we have to use the command line interface and they don't use to have graphical user interface by default so the first benefit of CLI based OS is that composability which means that the these CLI based operating systems are more compatible as compared to GUI based operating systems they are more compatible to hardware they are more compatible to adopt new changes or new configurations of uh, different hardwares second major benefits is automation mainly these Linux based or Unix based operating systems which are using CLI are being used for the automation you can do a big processes or batch processes over the Linux uh, based operating system by using CLI uh, by having just a couple of commands so that is another very big benefit next is flexibility Linux based operating systems which are having DLI they are very flexible in terms of cost because they are there is no uh, licensing cost they are very flexible in terms of uh, changes like uh, big companies they can make changes in the operating system because they are free freely available and open source they can modify it and they can uh, they can um, uh, update the operating system as per their uh, needs next is speed uh, in terms of CPU and memory uh, as we know that CLI based operating system does not require any graphics and they don't use to have like shining guard uh, icons and backgrounds and farms and that sort of stuff so CLI based operating system require less memory utilization and less CPU utilization so we can say that uh, CLI based operating systems are faster as compared to GUI based uh, operating systems. CLI based operating system they are lightweight operating systems availability and portability. These CLI based operating systems are highly available they are less prone to have errors and they are highly portable also because like those operating system can uh, we can take backup very easily and we can move from one machine to another machine without facing any issue CLI is like speaking the language of the operating system GUI is like using the sign language if we see the real world let's suppose we don't have tongue and we, we cannot speak and uh, we have to communicate with the other peoples by using only hand signs then our uh, the way we use to communicate it will be very limited so this is the same way over the GUI based operating systems and CLI based operating system in GUI based operating system most of the things we use to do by using the mouse clicks uh, although it is very easy but it is not providing all the um, things that we need to do we cannot do over there while in the CLI based whatever we want to do we can write down the command which is little difficult to memorize and write down but we can do almost everything by using the CLI command based operating system as compared to GUI based operating system where the, the things that we can do are very limited uh, next is uh, Unix Linux commands uh, are non-interactive commands may take input from the output of another command so one command be considered as an input from the output of another command so that is uh, possible over here while in the GUI based operating systems we don't have maybe scheduled to run specific time we can run the different commands or different tasks at a, at a specific time and by this way we can uh, we can take like backups of different things restarting memory fresh and these sort of activities we can perform on a regular interval basis user inputs can also provide uh, through command line arguments so while running or executing the application itself 
we can provide the user based input by passing the arguments next session we will when we will cover uh, different commands and we will do the practice we i will show you uh, how we can pass the arguments along with the command or along with the applications uh, command arguments need not to know known in advance so those arguments we don't need to define a system does not need to know it allows designing of applications that determines their own behavior by reading configuration files that's it in this session and uh, if you have any questions please do comment and i will try to answer those questions as soon as possible if you still did not subscribe my channel you can subscribe and thank you